In movies, the zombies are portrayed as the living dead, deprived uh -huh. of will, emotions, and intellect. Usually, they are dangerous Boy. monsters, eager to kill people or eat them alive. Although there are stories of good zombies that go to work and help the world of the living, the real zombies that came from the island of Haiti were the real people. But it seemed to others that they were dying, then rising from dead and becoming obedient slaves. It all had to do with the poisoning with a tetrodotoxin, a dangerous component that is produced by the blowfish. In particular, pufferfish, known to many as the Japanese national delicacy. If you cook the puffer incorrectly, you can die. And if you cook it correctly, you can enjoy its taste or turn the enemy into a zombie. At least, that's what Haitian voodoo sorcerers did, the Bokors. They punished the criminals with zombie potions. The composition of this potion consisted of a variety of components. For example, there were burned human remains, worms, and frogs. But one ingredient has always remained unchanged. It was that same tetrodotoxin. Under the influence of this poison, a person may fall into a deep coma and look pretty much like a dead person. This is proved by the cases that occurred in Japan. On some occasions, after poisoning by pufferfish, people woke up in a morgue or in a coffin a week after their death. So why do zombies become obedient slaves after the awakening? It has something to do with brainwashing by the master of voodoo. When the toxin paralyzes all of the victim's muscles, he cannot speak, move, or give any signs of life, but he remains conscious. That's when the voodoo comes, raises him from the grave, and sends him to work on a plantation, along with other zombie slaves. To escape and return to normal life is almost impossible. It is likely that the punishment in the form of zombie is still common in Haiti, and the locals, unlike the film characters, are not afraid of zombie attacks. They are afraid to become them.